And we're back, Taxcom 2, Johnny here. So, a little rundown of what we have going on. We've got a side lab being built in here. Uh, I've got an experimental heavy weapon being built in Improving Grounds. Uh, we're clearing that debris over there. In terms of troops, we got enough enough guys for a mission, so let's line up a mission here. Rewards a soldier. You know what? Avenger plotting sure. new course. Six days. All right. We'll do it. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Though it the is plasma intriguing. lance. The aliens focused beam technology has obvious applications for improving sniper rifles. Okay. Uh, what is the next thing we want? The beam cannon, maybe? Or do we want... When do you like a turret breakdown? Once we've gotten a look at their inner workings, we may be able to integrate the technology to improve our chances of defending against UFO attacks. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. Cool. That reminds me, though. In engineering, we probably want to build the, the improved Even gremlin. The of Recovered advent equipment 50 is supplies. Commander? So close. Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. Right. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was... Let's wait some days here. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing Defense completely Matrix. autonomous weapons Excuse me, Shen. in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. The Defense Matrix repurposes recovered Advent turrets as automated defenses to be deployed in the case of a ground assault on the Avenger. Okay, might come in handy, but not necessarily the most useful. Let's do an arc on all products of an extensive fusion of both alien biological materials and advanced mechanical support systems the archon is an unusually ornate design by alien standards with an air of authority spurred by its distinctive appearance i can only assume the aliens intended it to be something of a herald to the other forces so what will that give us okay five days pretty curious to see if we get any interesting tech out of that. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. Okay. And you have outdone yourself. Ooh, a supply drop. We gotta go for it, man. We have not finished it. Okay, wait. That's gonna be three days. We're gonna lose the supply drop. Dude, you gotta go for Avenger the supply plotting drop. New course. Is the thing. It's too juicy. Gonna allow us to build a lot of stuff, so... Real nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, take me back Avenger to... Plotting new course. To this side here. Outcome of this research can only further our advances, command. It certainly is a fusion blade encases else. a plasma heated Although metallic core. I'm not entirely Tag sure please. what the aliens hope to achieve such a grand design. The fusion blade encases a plasma heated metallic core in a micro thin magnetic field, enabling devastating melee attacks that are capable of setting enemies aflame. Consider me sold. Uh, power armor, maybe. Might want to look at that. You know what? Let's this do the autopsy. This fearsome creature, long referred to as a berserker, 
is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. Cool. Let's see if we can line up a, a mission here. So we'll do the one day there. We got a grenadier, okay. Gotcha. Uh, what do we want to do next? We might want to do like a make contact mission. But before we do anything, we got supplies. So take me to our oh, engineering okay. here. And build me the new gremlin. Not only will it increase the hacking stat of our specialists, but many specialist abilities improve their effectiveness. So hopefully more guaranteed damage, which is going to be great. And then can we get the um, fusion blade, I think? Or do, you, do we want to go for like... The beam pistol, maybe? As a sidearm for our sharpshooters? I feel it could be good. Now, the plasma rifle is also a good option. Oh, be a matcher. You know what? Go for the plasma rifle, dude. Okay. So, yeah, hopefully that will be available for our mission here, but. Let's get something going. And I think now that we've made contact... Hold on. We made contact somewhere. Didn't we? Did we not make contact? I think we made contact somewhere. But you know what? Let's try to make contact here. Make Any contact, please. For East Asia. to establish local regional contact. Our flamethrower. This wrist-mounted flamethrower relies on a super-pressurized fuel canister and a very focused nozzle to unleash a deadly cone of fire on multiple enemies. One flamethrower has been added to the inventory. Very cool. Now that does mean we could build other things but we're out of resources which means we gotta hold on that. What's happening? Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Okay. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. So what did As we get here? Typical Overdrive zero. Enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. Derived from the adrenal glands of a berserker alien boosts the soldier's nervous system, resulting in greater mobility and significant damage increase. Sorry, significant damage resistance for multiple turns. Seems useful. Can we just go with the... I had assumed you'd yeah. make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. All right. They're just like, hey. You loud and clear. <laughs> cool. The people of uh, East Asia stand re ready to help XCOM however we can. New income. New regional contacts located. Possible new, um, new contact there, which is good. I think we're on the. Okay, we can do one more contact actually, but it will cost us some intel. So I wonder to what extent it would interest uh, would interest us to do that. 
Or do we want to have like try to go across here? Maybe like make another contact Setting in West Asia. West Asia. By the way, I don't know if it's useful to make this many contacts, but let's try it. New targets acquired. Review targets. So we got a East Asia operation to get a scientist. We could get some intel or we could get some supplies. I think the supplies seem more useful. So, you know what? Let's Setting do it. Course for the Arctic territories. I don't think we've ever done any mission in the Arctic. Hopefully it's gonna be like snowy and pretty cool. Who, who do we have? Um, who are you? No, you're new. Yeah, we don't... Sorry, we don't want you yet. Just make all utility items and all armor available. So we have sharpshooter, two grenadiers, two specialists. We could go with... Huh. I actually want our new sharpshooter, I think. We'll go like two sharpshooters here. Yeah, I think that will be okay. And then... David. Can we edit you? Make sure you're packing the flamethrower here. Uh, I think it goes in instead of that. Yeah, okay. So the flamethrower is an area of effect weapon that can lay waste to part of the battlefield. It is useful against multiple enemies and at close quarters. Robotic enemies will be resistant or immune to its effects, however. So, clip size is 1. Damage is 4 to 7. Okay. Oh, we'll try it out. For sure. <clears throat> I don't think we need to equip the laser, the plasma rifle. Yeah, that's right. That's already in there. I'm okay having the mimic beacon on petrol. We'll have the grenades on our on our dudes there. And then can we do like hmm. We got a medikit on Ali. And I think you know what? Let's give our low level recruit a mind shield. Make sure he doesn't get mind controlled. And let's roll the mission here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Ah, I messed up. I should have given the spider armor to somebody. Yeah, that's a mistake. Okay, well. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. We'll make it work. It's fine. The resistance team operating out of this area got the jump on Advent forces passing through. Apparently they stumbled on a data vault with files... Neutralize all enemy operation. targets. Most recover chemical composition reports from... The site, ...and all communications from the local operatives have gone silent. We're moving in to secure the area. Neutralize all enemy contacts and find the assets. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the Advent Data Vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before it's caught. Alright, so as always, okay, go for yellow moves first turn, and then play it safe after that. You know what? Why don't we take. Okay, not with David though. Double time. We can definitely take the high ground with some of our guys. Got it covered. French guy, go top. And then actually Petro go top as well. Running. Getting it done. So that's our first turn there. We'll see if I'm on it. Okay, got some enemies there. Hopefully they, they keep going that way and we can avoid them all together. That would be nice. 
<clears throat> okay. No more enemies for now, but of course, there will likely be enemies in the building, and we can see some detection tiles here. So that's gonna be a thing. Moving. And that's a detection tile as well. Interesting. You know what, Petro? Go a little bit ahead here. Rolling. See if you can find some. Okay, we got some enemies there. So we got an Archon and two Mutons. That is not too bad. We also got a hack option. Oh, okay. What is your damage on the combat protocol? Now it's four, which is great. Great improvement. I think Reg, I'd like to have you on the high ground. Position. And then French guy also posted up there. Lightning hands. Fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action. I mean, it's kind of cool. We got a, a good shot too, so we could choose to open on on them. the The real question would be like, where do you position these other guys? And I think the answer is you gotta do a yellow move with one of them. So you do like Sophia goes here and into Overwatch. David, you gotta do a yellow move to get into position there. And then Ali, you're gonna do. You know what? Try hacking this thing. Should have high percentage hacks now that we got a Gremlin level 2. Reduce enemy will by 50%. Not entirely sure what that entails, but certainly not gonna hurt us, so we'll take it. We're through. All right, and we'll just do like an Overwatch Scanning. for now. Okay. Whoa! Man, that surprised me. <laughs> that really surprised me. We do have a couple overwatches. Come on, don't be ridiculous. Sophia hit? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well. Everybody's aggroed. Damn, the pistol shot really hurt. That's good. Good stuff, man. Okay. So let's see how we play this. Should be our turn, right? Yes, okay. So, Petro. I'm looking at you here. For like a potential haywire protocol. But also, you could be hit by that guy. So, check out wh what is the haywire protocol chances. Let's get it. And make sure we got like a, a real shot of, of getting it. We should be able to shut him down. Jeez. 75%. Alright, you know what? Go for it. Okay. So we don't have to worry about the Mac unit. That's unfortunately 
the entirety of his turn. I, I probably should have moved him into full cover there. But too late. Uh, too late for any regrets. I'm looking at Reg. And I'm like... You got a decent shot. In fact, you could go dead eye on this guy. A 70% shot of doing a lot of damage. You know what? I'm gonna take the gamble, man. It's a little bit risky. And we missed. Okay. Still think it's arguably... Like it was arguably a, a worth thing to do. Let's see, what's the range on your flamethrower here? It's pretty good range. So you could do. You could move up and and uh, and use it. I don't think. Yeah, you know what? Let's just Here move up a little bit. Maybe this will will be close enough. Sadly, it looks like it isn't. So let's do maybe a grenade shot. Can we line it up to hit both of them? No. And the shot is really bad as well. I almost want to take the guaranteed damage on this guy. 4 to 7 damage. Just take him now. Excuse me? Okay, we did 5 damage. Yeah, it's alright. I thought he would be burning though, considering he he's, you know, on fire. Move into position. But hey, I've been wrong before. Do you have a, a grenade shot? I mean, at this point, even if it's just a, a one-man grenade shot, you probably gotta take it. Take the guaranteed damage. You know it's gonna do at least five damage, so it's not bad. If we could break the cover, would be great, but she can't. So Let's go for this. Okay, that's really lucky. Now, Mr. Hollywood, what do you have for me? Seventy-four percent shot. Or you could go for a pistol shot, but it has a potential chance to go... You know what? Lightning hands, fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action. Try it. Three damage. A little bit unfortunate. But you should still have... Um, your turn completely intact. And then Ali, you can do something like... Cannot really move that much closer. I guess be okay. Shots you have are not very good. But you don't have many other options either. So take the gamble here. If it lands, great. If it misses, we'll use the pistol Still shot moving. from French guy to guarantee the kill. I mean, guarantee is 80%. So. Pretty high chance. Please don't miss it. Okay, good. So the Archon is down. We're dealing with two mutants now. Not too bad. Oh wait, I forgot. I didn't see this guy. That's gonna be a horrible flank shot. That's gonna be painful right there. He's going for a grenade too. Well, it could have been worse to be honest. I mean, it might still be worse. Because they're they're like Ugh, six damage is rough, man. But we got the heavy armor. We should be able to tank this unless they crit on us, which would be really nasty. Please no crit. Woo! The miss is godsend. Okay, <laughs> David is on fire, but he's an absolute badass. Doesn't give a shit. So, 
What's happening? Why are people freaking out? Okay. Uh. Like. You gotta go first. Heal your. Your friend. Give him a heal. Alright. Now. This man has to go. Seven damage. Good stuff. That's a one HP guy right there. I think with David. You wanna like first you, you gotta get behind some cover here. But then also Finally. you probably wanna frag just to kill any possibility of cover for these guys as well and kill that guy in the process and the, the armor is really cool man I really dig the the armors that you can build so 3 HP should be a kill for Petro with guaranteed damage so we'll probably allow him to do that lightning hands is on cooldown I'm looking at Reg here and I kind of want to do like a 100% pistol shot chance I would like to also put him behind cover or at the very least like see my thing is I would like to get a preview of like if I move somewhere will I still have a shot Like, I want to move here. But... Something tells me we won't have a shot at that guy anymore. Actually, disregard. We do have a shot, so... Take it. It's good kill right there. I don't know if 4 classifies as a crit, but... Sure, I'll let you have it. Petro, go for the guaranteed damage. I mean, first, you gotta switch to at least half cover here All with right, respect I'll to this go. guy who's coming coming back into into the game here we got five turns left and we got a combat protocol that we excuse me we cannot use combat protocol on this guy okay then we got a good percentage shot on on Sophia there Nowhere decent where you can like move forward, like maybe here. But you also have don't we have David or has he used his shit? I think he's used his shit. So move. Let's move up with Sophia, gets us closer to the objective. We're near the objective. And you can take a shot. Menace one five, this is Avenger. We have I really hate when they the stop the action package. like this. It breaks my momentum, man. But yeah, take the flanked shot on this guy. High percent chance kill. And we got it. Great stuff. Target eliminated. Toss me some ammo. And then we have only two guys left. I think with Petro you want to go like combat protocol. We do a lot of damage. Real good was interesting because it did like two instances of damage which is again very interesting so six to eight damage will not be a kill and we have no one left here which is a problem so you gotta get into I mean that guy is not gonna shoot an individual person I think he's gonna go for like a grenade shot so we'll take the risk here Yeah, three damage is really a lot. Sorry, three armor is a lot to get through without any kind of shred. So he's gonna get a turn now. Hopefully it's not too bad. He generally does like an AoE grenade attack, yeah. Like the, the bad thing with that is the fall damage on top of the explosion. Luckily, only Petro was hit. 
So it's not, again, could be worse. Okay, I'll go. And we have a gremlin heal available, which I think we'll use. So send that over to P Dog. Go help him out. Top him off there. We should have no problems finishing off the, um, the dude there on top. And specifically, I'm looking at someone like Petro here. You know you got your combat protocol. I mean, you probably do want to advance a little bit towards the objective, but not like too much so that we're out of range. And yeah, it worked. So just go for that. Get the kill on Petro, level him up, make him a little bit more, more useful in missions here. Cool. So, no more enemies in sight just yet. David can start poisoning himself to get into this Let's building here. Me. At least scout out a little bit. No enemies so far. Which is good news for us. I'm almost tempted to... You know I want to do this move. And I will. Risky. Done. But I'm pretty sure David would have triggered enemies. Already. If there were any. In there. So I don't feel too bad about that. And then. You know what? Just get our guys Not closer. Reg. Get yourself up there. Close. And. David just do like an overwatch. Now there could be guys coming towards our position. Okay. Just be quiet, Central. Jesus. I mean, we probably want to drop a heal on Ali himself here. If I'm being honest. But really, more than anything, I just want to grab this objective, if I can. But that's like a, a bigger if than I'd like, so... Alright, let's just move Sophia up here. On your order. Let's see if we trigger any enemies. Yeah, okay, we trigger some enemies. I didn't want to go all in for that, because I, I had a feeling we... We might trigger some some dudes. So we got an Archon and two operatives. Sophia, of course, is pretty close range here, but somehow has a terrible accuracy. Mr. French guy doesn't have a good shot either. Petro can get a little bit closer here. And he does have a... Um, a mimic beacon here. The hack is... Oh, we can hack from far? Dude. I'll take a look. If we can do that, then we can, like, fall back with Sophia and play it pretty safe. Just hack from safety here. Which is something I never considered I could do. It delays the current dark event projects. By two weeks is pretty positive as well. So we got the the mission that objective one, there. We just gotta kill these guys. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. It's fantastic. Any remaining hostiles near the AO. We're just gonna try to be like as safe as we can here. And we got no shots with you. But we probably wanna like heal up. And then David, what kind of shots are we looking at? I mean, Sophia probably wants to fall back at this point. I don't really see her wanting to be there in any way, shape or form. Like this is full cover, so I feel Moving that's a pretty position. solid move. So Reg doesn't have shots. But he's got the kill zone here, which I'm gonna go for. Because last time that was just 10 out of 10. 
and okay the pistol shot is pretty bad I think I want to take your sniper shot here low percentage hit but still do one damage because of the stock we have on, on that rifle and then David here has a pretty clear shot on these guys so take that grenade shot right there maybe we should have gone for the flank for the flank shot straight away but guaranteed five damage blowing up the cover Just seems real good to me so we'll do that yeah 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 Red just gotcha. Nice! Seven damage is so good. Gonna get a hit on Sophia here. Alright, we missed that one. Can't get them all. Hopefully this doesn't land. She's in full cover. So, okay, thank you. I'm all right. Pretty lucky. Please don't hit Sophia. Third person. Okay. Well, I mean, Sophia is in a pretty touchy spot right there. Like, I want to take the, the spot that Petro has right now, to be honest. And so... Nah... I'm not sure. That's actually pretty bad as well. We gotta reload with Reg here. That said, we do have a... A grenade option. Three to four damage. It's not gonna be enough for that guy. And we can't quite reach the other guy. Okay, okay. That's fine. Ali. Not close enough. French guy. 48%. Take your lightning hands here. Eh, that miss is pretty unfortunate. And he does have five... HP so I don't think there's much else you can do aside from taking this gamble here pretty surprised that landed pretty surprised at the amount of damage as well real good for him hopefully a promotion but no, actually no all right so now we're only dealing with a couple guys here Like, Sophia could do something like this, basically. Where she gets pretty protected. Oh, <gasps> the Overwatch! Oh my god, I forgot he did an Overwatch. I'm so goddamn lucky and stupid. <laughs> oh man, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Sophia. Can Do you have, like, a good grenade for me? Is this gonna hit that guy as well? It is. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, who's our friendly? Oh, is it, um... Like the hacking station? I mean, I'm, I'm a little confused, though. What does it matter if we hit that thing? Alright, just uh, take a normal shot. Please don't miss. Thank you. What does it matter if we blow up that machine? We've already down. hacked it, right? That's it, I'm out. Ooh, the hair trigger, pretty good. Gives us the grenade option here. Hopefully we'll blow up the wall. Generally does. Yeah, I totally saw uh, in the corner of my eye that that guy had gone overwatch, but somehow I didn't register it. That was really close to being really bad. Go 
patch him up. And Sophia would have paid the price, but she's fine. I'm gonna heal her up a little bit here. Now, David, you're too far. Don't even sweat it. So we're gonna move up P Dog here. Clear? He's gonna take his shot. 88%, don't fail me. Nice. Big deal. So that should be the mission. You don't think. Status confirmed. Yeah, we're not gonna All have the opportunity to loot this, sadly. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Still not bad. Four wounded. Way more than I'd like. No casualties though. Pretty positive overall. I do kind of like the pistolier build we have going with French guy here. And then we, we got like Reg with the pure sniper build. Pretty strong. Sophia is like totally judging me right now. She's like that dickhead totally sold me out there You know in the heat of the moment it happens mistakes were made So what promotions are we looking at? I know we got at least one We didn't get any promotions we got two people out for 23 days. That's real bad. Okay. A little bit of a bittersweet Hello, result there. We did get quite a bit of supplies out of that, which is good for sure. So we'll cut it here. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments or leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.